viewers and subscribers you're welcome back again i want to bring to your notice what is going to happen in a couple of days specifically on 29th of may 2023 nigeria will experience another storm as there will be imagine two presidents if apc insists on handing over to an illegitimate candidate or ticket as the president and vice president of this country make gonna listen to this bigger that is even treasonable is when an election is defrauded and we have seen this the the dss or anyone who is in charge of issues of making nigeria united and peaceful should go and arrest people who are Talking from the two sides of their mouth, like Nasser El Rufai, um, um, uh, uh, Yenson Wike, uh, or MC Olomo, Ahmed Bolatinibu himself, and uh, uh, Femi Fani and the baby minister called Fessus Kayamu. Those are the people that should be arrested. Those are the people that should be called to order because their voice right now is causing chaos across the polity. And if we don't speak, it will continue. We were in this country in 2011 and 2015 when President Muhammad Buhari himself made statements backed by the APC that they will form a parallel government. Our own parallel government we are forming is not a treasonable offense. It is a decision to disagree with whatever decision this President Muhammad Buhari's administration will take come May 29. If they are in one side forming their government of uh, Ahmed Bola Tinubu as president, we'll be in the other side forming a government that will declare a winner for 2023 presidential election, which we already have the result. We have the result because we have agents scattered across Nigeria. It's going to be peaceful. We are going to announce the result, announce the winner, and declare the winner our own uh, president. So it will be the president of the Nigerian masses. Because we have totally rejected the result provided by INEC as fake and false. So practically, come May 29, wherever we are going to do it, we are going to declare the winner of the beavers. The winner is presented by the beavers as president of Nigeria, as president of the Nigerian masses. And we will, we will adhere to whatever the law says. It's not reasonable, and the fact remains that the writing is being done. We are not fighting anybody. We are doing it peacefully. And if the president does not want to and does not want to give us that request, it's a simple thing. He comes up and says, My children, as your father, we don't want entering government. This is what we want. And we will obey. But for now, we'll keep demanding and we'll keep demanding the release of the results given by the vivas that have stated that somebody has won that election. And that election result must be counted. Thank you so much. I that is it and that is where millions of nigerians stand but the truth is that who will build the card <laughs> now that place now that place be the nitty-gritty of the matter now grab i speak no be offense i commit <laughs> now who go bear the cart who will start ignite this very revolution this ballot revolution that is needed to save not nigeria but nigerians from the hands of illegitimate government my name is promise i am here because we voted mahmoud told us that we should come out and vote that the election the result will be transmitted now after voting there was no transmission we are here to demand mahmoud to confess that actually he didn't transmit the, he didn't transmit the results and that this selection was done by him he was paid and then he selected someone and we are here to say we reject that person that he selected we voted in nigerians voted and and that person we voted for is person who have come to demand so let that certificate that mahmoud gave to tunubu be returned and tunubu should never be sworn in we don't we don't need him nobody a thief cannot come in to lead those who, are, who have integrity or how anybody that is paying to become president of nigeria is a wrong person we want the person that his hand is free from history. The person that his hand is free, even in this election, nobody paid. We know that Peter B never made any payment. We came out with our own money to support him because we have seen integrity in his life. We have seen leadership in his life. We have seen that he has economic background in his life. So he's the one we are voting for. He's one who voted for. That is why I am here to say I voted. I prayed. I came to contest. 
and to also state that Tunubu will never enter in that place. Rather, they should give this to he that won the election. Peter will be is the one that was I've never voted in my life. I used to feel like it will count. But this time I came out and vote. So why should they deny us our rights? Why should they deny us our, 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 our ability to choose our leader? We are saying that Mahmoud is the most wicked person in Nigeria. The most forceful liar in Nigeria. His children will suffer and suffer. He himself will suffer. And I want to promise Mahmoud that if he doesn't pass this point, he will never escape it in Nigeria. We are saying that Tunubu will not be there. Mahmoud will not be there. Mahmoud will never eat he will never be there. Will Even that money, Mahmoud will not eat it. So let judiciary know that Nigerians are here. We are here to demand the person that we voted for. That let him come and lead us. We all voted for uh, uh, Peter Obi. 95% of Nigerians voted for Peter Obi, but they are denying us. We are saying we don't want Tribu. We don't even want Atiku. It is Peter Obi who voted. And it's enough, it's enough. The youth are here. The men are here, the women are here, even children are here. And we are here to say, Mahmoud, you are a wicked person. Peter B, that is who we want. The court, let them continue to hide. Today, they are going to decide if they are going to show us life, they are proceeding. We know that APC and INEC have said they, far, 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 they don't want to make Nigerian people watch the proceeding of the court because they know the evil they committed. But it is left for the judiciary to save Nigeria democracy. Or else, everything will come crumbling like a pack of cards. I can tell you that. Nigerians, do not shy away from this duty. Because you cannot just sit back and watch Akimbo. While very few, minute number of people who claim to hold power in the name of APC hold every one of us to ransom it is your duty to defend your constitution as they have it now them do the constitution no mm -hmm. now them make the laws oh mm -hmm. but now we go defend them because you cannot have unconstitutional government to pilot the affairs of nigerians what do you think that can come out of it what do you think that can come out of evil? That thing they did in 20, on 25th of February, Nigerians, we give them the real result. If only every one of you comes out in solidarity to ensure that the right thing is done. Tinibu no win election. That is the truth. And the constitution is very clear on 25%. I'm going to talk about that on the next video. Keep watching and stay connected. Don't forget to share these videos. Nigerians, whether you're a student, whether you're a civil servant, whether you're a trader, whether you are even majority of you unemployed and frustrated, every one of you is needed to assert and affirm the position of Nigerian people. Every one of you that voted for Labour Party for the obedient ticket, P2B and Dati is expected to stand out shoulders to shoulder to defend your mandate. Because if this criminal succeeds, we'll be tired you. You are not committing any treason. You are not committing any crime. Because those that did actually commit treason and crime are those who want to take over power through the back door. We can resist it. I tell you, Nigerians, we can. There is no hope for them. Tinubu can never be president of this country. Mark my words. Don't forget to share this video. What's your thought on it? I want to have your opinion. Bye-bye for now.